I was talking to Carissa and there's something I need to explain. It's called the right hand rule, but to do that, we need to go back a little. This video is gonna be late. I shouldn't have started at 11 p.m., but this is important. Okay, so we gotta start with the atom. Gotta figure out what an atom looks like. My basic understanding of chemistry, an atom looks like this, where it's got a bunch of these nucleus of, no, not nucleus, neutrons and protons in the middle all kind of clumped together and around the edge. It's like, ooh, what, just throw in some electrons? And they're all flying around. And there's just as many neutrons as there are protons. And then there's just as many protons as there are electrons. And the neutrons have no charge and a proton has a positive charge and an electron has a negative charge and so the electrons of the protons out equal up to each other so that it's got like a net charge of zero one plus negative one such and such but sometimes other electrons just floating around in the world kind of like that thing say oh look there's protons there we should go we should go hook up in that orbit even though it's already perfectly balanced. We got these little flying dudes who are like, ooh, we see those protons, they look delicious, let us, let us in. And so they try to hook up into this orbit, <laughs> even though they don't belong, and it gives this whole thing a negative charge because there's not enough protons for the electrons. And sometimes we have just, just a perfectly fine one without any friends joining the party. There's no friends joining the party. And uh, this little electron goes, hey, there's a, there's a, there's a atom over there who looks swanky. And just just kind of just kind of leaves he just he just leaves and he just goes and joins and then this thing has a positive charge on it because now it has more protons than it does have electrons and uh, protons yeah protons uh, protons can't move only electrons move but we've got this idea okay so I need to buy a real eraser shirts will do so now we've got this idea we're gonna make it this this is just gonna present that's that's an atom now. Say this was like a super swanky hot atom and a bunch of electrons joined into the party. So now this thing has like a negative charge of something or other, depending on how many electrons decided to join the party. Let's say that this was a less swanky atom and that some of its electrons went and joined that guy or maybe some other guy who was more swanky than this less swanky atom. So now it's got a positive charge all around. So we've got this idea that just we have whole things, whole things that can be positive or negative. Now you're going to just have to trust me on this because sometimes dead white guys have just depicted things and we're just like, all right, that model kind of worked, and we've been using it for all these other things. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep using that model. Say that you're 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 chilling with a good plane of void, and there's nothing except for two swanky or less swanky atoms floating around in space. We call these point charges. I'm pretty sure that's what a point charge is. Now we've got this idea called field lines. And we usually demote that with a bunch of arrows, and usually those arrows are going in the direction where in a positive something or other would go in. So uh, positives would go away from the positive thing and it would go towards the negative thing. So points are always going into the negative and always coming out of the positive. That's just how it works. This is called field lines. This is cool. This, and this kind of looks like, ooh, magnetism. So let me draw a magnet. That's a magnet, it looks fantastic. A magnet is just a piece of metal, except a uh, normal piece of metal looks like that where it's got like a bunch of atoms and some might be positive and some might be negative but because you know repulsion and positive try to go away from each other and negative try to go away from each other they're kind of all equally distributed around in here so it's like just about the same amount of positive and negative throughout this entire thing a magnet is a swanky material because defying all laws of opposite and equal and things attracting it looks like this where all the positives it's collected on one end and the negatives collect on the other end that's a magnet and so of course let's apply our rule of field lines i forget which one's like the north and south and like the world which one is the actual north or south ones we're just gonna pretend at least for now that north is positive swanky field line coming out of the positive end going into the negative end this is just this is this is this is how things work that's called a magnetic field and of course it's got those magnetic field lines going around it so now it's gonna start with a cool swanky idea we've got a line we call that a wire now I'm gonna erase that our wire is gonna be invisible this is just gonna be an electron and it's just traveling it's gonna be traveling that way and that straight very straight line it's just gonna be traveling that way fun thing when an electron moves across the line somewhere it creates magnetic field lines around itself as it's moving which look like this it goes in a circle which is pretty spooky and swanky as i would say so you've got this electron it's moving in a circle it's going down and the the, the yeah mag magnet 
got an electron that's moving down. It's got these magnetic field lines going around. But how do we know it's going in this direction? Well, that's because we have one of the two right hand rules. Ha ha! My right hand. We've got our thumb. That's gonna be the direction we're going in. Ah, so are we going that way? Then it's going that way. Are we going this way? It's going that way. Are we going that way? It's going that way. This, this, ooh, this cup thing, that's the direction of the magnetic field lines around it. All right, so we got an electron going up. Magnetic field lines going like that. Yeah, yeah, we got, it's, it's going like that. You, you, you get the pattern. There's an even swankier one that's even more fun. It's like, ah, let's say that we're having, this is, ooh, look at this 3D graph. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, we've got an electron going in this way. It's gonna have, you know, it's a velocity is that direction. It's gonna have electric field going around, going, going this, this. The second one looks more swanky. It looks like this. Ain't that swanky. This one's velocity, pretty sure. This one's electric field, pretty sure. This one, maybe this one's velocity. This one's... I should look this up. Looked it up. It looks like there's two different flavors of this, basically, where your right hand rule looks like this. You like my right hand? I like how all three of these look the exact same. One of them says, hey, you know, it's got the force going this way, velocity going this way, magnetic field going on this one, or, or it's the velocity on this one, and then the mag magnet on this one, and the force on this one. I don't know if this makes sense. I like that one more. No, I like that one more. I like that. So we're going to teach this. So we got a velocity going this way, okay? Force thing is going to be velocity. Uh, it's going to have a force that's trying to pull it up just because it's because it's going this way it wants to go up and so uh, as it tries to go up it redirects itself ah now this one this one the redirects itself redirects itself and so very actually it's trying to try to go in a circle but that's way too complicated for right now anyways we got velocity going this way but oh what is that it's gonna make a magnetic field going this way yeah we got an electron going that way and then magnetic field going i think this way because that, that that makes sense maybe it's going up and around yeah all we know. I'm getting more confused as I'm teaching this. I wanted to go like this, but there was a force trying to pull it up, so it, uh, it ends up going in a circle instead, just because of redirection. But then there's like a magnetic field, I think. Go like this, it was going around like this, so it's going to... And then... Okay, so it's going like, whoop, 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 from the outside and in and around, I guess. I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Yeah, the electron's just going to end up being moved in a circle because it wants to, and something like this is going to be happening because it wants to. That's what a right-hand rule is, and I could go into an electric magnet, but... I'll do that next episode. That's the right hand rule. We got a velocity moving one direction. It's gonna tell us where our magnetic field is going and the force is gonna be pushed in. Welcome to the Kayla Classroom. Kayla Classroom episode number one. Join back next week as I teach you uh, about the locust and then maybe an electromagnet. Have fun. Love is kinda swanky with a spooky little guy like you. Swanky is a, this is a good swanky word.